before making any adjustments to the seat matters chairs, lock the two brake casters at the back of the chair for safety. To replace either the 75mm caster, the 35mm caster, or the stabilizing feet on the Orlando, first we need to remove the caster plate on the front, if it's the front caster you're changing. To do that, we have to release the four bolts located on the inside of the arm and the bolt that's located underneath the caster plate. We do that using the five millimeter Allen key. Once the five bolts have been removed, the caster plate will just slide off. Once you have the caster plate off, you can replace the caster, whether it's the 75 mil caster, the 35 mil caster or the stabilizing feet, it's all the same way. And you just need a 17 millimeter spanner and a eight millimeter Allen key. What we need to do then is loosen the nut and bolt. Once you have the nut loosened, the caster will just come off. As you can see, there are two holes on the bottom of the caster plate. The bigger hole is for being able to put in the 75 mil caster and the stabilizing feet. The smaller hole is for when you're replacing or installing the 35 millimeter caster. So when replacing the 75 mil caster, which I'm doing now, I'm going to put it into the larger of the two holes and then secure it using the nut. Once that is fitted securely, we now need to put the caster plate back on to the front of the arm. So we then line the caster plate up with the arm and screw your bolts in to secure it. You then use your 5mm Allen key to secure them tightly. To replace either the 75mm caster, the 35mm caster or the stabilizing feet on the back of the Orlando chair, we first need to remove the nut cover. Then using a 17mm spanner and an 8mm Allen key, we loosen this nut. To fit the new caster, we just follow the process in reverse. 